Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy C to the O tab. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was that was awful. What's up, guys? It's Go Tab here, and I got some more crew PVP. Uh, decided to do some stuff away from the summit for a little while. The summit was kind of getting uh, getting a little annoying. I hate being limited. Um. But anyway, what do we got here? This first race is, I'm using a uh, low-level 458 circuit spec against a bunch of uh, HCs and a hot rod. Um, and yeah, I do pretty badly in the beginning here, uh, as you see on this corner right here. The rumble strip kind of messed me up a, a little bit, but I shouldn't have been that close to the rumble strip in the first place. So, you know, my bad. Uh, but anyway, the, the 458 is really, really, really good. Like, it's, I, I, I don't know, uh, this is barely upgraded at all, I think I have like one or two gold parts on it or something like that, um, and it just wrecks everything in its path. Uh, its acceleration at top speed isn't exactly the best, um, but this thing handles so well, it's, it's unbelievable. So this first lap was a little rough for me, which is weird because usually I do very well on this track because this is uh, one of my favorite circuit spec races and this is my favorite track in the game. Uh, probably one of my favorite tracks in real life too, which is so cool, that big uh, corkscrew drop. Oh, it's so cool. But anyway, yeah, as you see, I did really bad, but uh, spoilers, I end up making a pretty decent comeback here uh, by driving... Uh, I'd say pretty well. Uh, I still, you know, am not driving completely optimally in this race, but uh, I'm remembering a little bit of what I have to do here. You can take that corner going flat out, uh, the corner before that, all you have to do is let off. This one you just break a little bit, and then let off, and then accelerate on the e exit. And uh, yeah, this car's handling is just, it's insane. Um, after I upgrade this thing, which I'm probably just going to end up buying all the parts for it because, you know, they still haven't fixed how to get fucking parts. It's so annoying now, but uh, after I upgrade this thing, I do not see myself using any other car besides this. Uh, I think it's pushing overpowered. Uh, just, it handles so well. It's really unbelievable, and its acceleration and top speed isn't that good now, but once I put, you know, acceleration parts on them, you know, level 50 acceleration parts, I I don't see this thing being stoppable at all. It's just so good. Um, the 8C feels a little nerfed. I can't really confirm that because, I mean, we don't really have a list of patch notes that say exactly what they did to what car, but the 8C feels like it has a lot more wheel spin, and it feels like it's got more understeer, but... It's still wicked fast in a straight line, and it's still just a very, very good car. Um, you know, it's kind of like the same with the LaFerrari and Prospec. They uh, they nerfed it a little bit. You know, they brought it back to, you know, sensible levels, but it's still the best car. Um, it's not completely overpowered and unbeatable like it was, but it's still, you know, hands down, you know, not hands down, but it's still, you know, arguably the best car in the game. Uh, same with the 8C in circuit spec. That and the hot rod. The hot rod got a lot more understeer now. Um, I can't... But it, it did feel like it got a lot more stability. It used to, um, like, wobble at high speeds and made it really hard to drive on tracks like, uh, uh, the Little Eagle Speed Dome, uh, Highway Hijinks, stuff like that. Uh, anything that was top speed oriented, even though its top speed is really good, it would get really bobbly. Um, and they seem to have fixed that, because I was using it on Little Eagle and doing very well. Uh, but this car, I wouldn't recommend it for those kind of tracks, because this is... The 458 is definitely a handling car. It's not, uh, you know, a top speed car. It is all about handling, getting around those corners with the highest average speed possible and the 458 does that very well um, it's it's just very good if you guys haven't tried this out yet I highly recommend that you do uh, I almost make the comeback there I kinda messed up at the end of the S curve the corkscrew uh, my end exit was a little rough if I exited that a little bit better I could have seen myself winning that but you know it's whatever. I shouldn't have messed up in the beginning if I wanted to win. Um, but 
Yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. This was probably like the only good circuit spec race that I got with it because everyone else wants to pick the Little Eagle Speed Dome over and over and over and over and over again. I hate that track. It's it's really up to lag, honestly, because like it there's just like a group of six of you that pass the finish line at the same time, and you know whatever, whoever is either host or you know closest to the server at the time is probably going to be the winner. So it's a little annoying, but you know whatever. Um, and I actually don't grab my part here because I had to get up and go do something. So, um, but yeah, I think the 8C is still a very good circuit spec car. I still think it's probably the best uh, asterisk. We don't know about any of the new cars yet. I don't know about the motorcycles. I heard the Ducati uh, Dravel. Is that what? Is that how you pronounce it? I heard that circuit spec is really, really good. So there's no telling quite right now. Uh, the 458 also seems extremely potent. Um, and honestly, that's what I'm going to take a guess at as being the best, the new best circuit car. The Maserati is also very good uh, as circuit spec. Um, I was actually kind of surprised with how decent it was. But anyway, let's move on to this next race. For those of you who have trouble with this race, because I know I did for quite a while, the uh, the ice tracks here, and yes, I do switch off hardcore. I know, I know, I'm a cop out, I'm a cop out, but you know. I gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, collision was on in this race, kind of annoying, but you know, whatever. If you're having problems with this race, because I know I did for the longest time, uh, step number one, switch off hardcore. Uh, you're not gonna have a very good time in hardcore. Um, it's doable, but it's a lot harder. Uh, and on the ice, it makes, you know, in hardcore, it makes you understeer a lot anyway, so. Having all driving assist and having your understeer increased isn't really that bad, and, you know, it saves you from spinning out from going in a straight line. So, switch off hardcore. Second, there's about three or four cars that I would recommend to use. Um, one of them, the 458, is pretty good on this track, but it is kind of hard to use. Uh, it's still, it's got a lot of wheel spin. It handles like how you would expect it to but it's still really good. The Garlardo and the Aventador are pretty good. The Garlardo, I would say, is better, but, uh, you know, a lot of people like the Aventador for whatever reason, even though statistically and in test, the Garlardo is better in every single way, uh, including top speed, uh, which, you know, people would think that the Aventador would have it there, but nope, they accelerate at the same speed, and the Garlardo has a higher top speed. It's got better nitrous, it's got better grip, it's got less understeer, less wheel spin. So basically the Gallardo is better in every way, but for whatever reason people like the Aventador. I don't know, maybe just because it's cooler, I guess? I don't know. But anyway, um, besides that, uh, the Lotus here is very good, and the uh, the 8, or not the 8C, the 4C, the Alfa Romeo 4C is the best car on this track. If you are having a hard time keeping up on this ice, Pick the 4C, go into all driving assist, I promise you, you will be pleasantly surprised. I was having a lot of hard times on this track until a guy used the 4C against me, and I was in the the Gallardo, and he pushed my shit in, and it was really weird to me because I was beating him in every single race before that, and then all of a sudden on this, he picks the 4C and just like puts his fist up my butt and pulls my intestines out. I mean, it was, it was that bad. So I'm like, what the hell? So I tried it next race, and yeah, the 4C, for whatever reason, just gets like less wheel spin, less understeer on ice, and it's got increased grip, and it's got really good nitrous to boot, uh, even, you know, not on the ice, so it's nitrous is actually usable on the ice here. So yeah, just pick the 4C. It's really, really good, surprisingly, and I can't for the life of me understand why. It seems like the lighter rear-wheel drive cars are the best on this track, which doesn't really make sense, because you'd think on ice, the all-wheel drive cars would have the advantage. You know, the Lamborghinis and uh, the Skyline and whatnot, and the Focus, uh, which they are all good on this track, yes, but for whatever reason, the very light rear-wheel drive cars do very well on on ice doesn't really make sense but you know whatever 
the Lotus here is also one of those cars. It's pretty light. Uh, it's got a little bit more wheel spin than the 4C, but I'd say its steering radius is a little bit better. So it's kind of like Tomato Tomato. I think both uh, the 4C and the Lotus Exceed are definitely the top two on this track. Um, but I haven't really had that much time to test this car out with a uh, full upgrades, but the Lotus, let me talk about that a little bit because I've been putting the 4C on a pedestal here, but the Lotus is really, really good. Um, I was, you know, wondering, you know, what should I get? Should I get the Exceed? Should I get the RX-7? You know, I was really stuck between those two. And I saw someone say on Reddit, because someone was complaining about the LaFerrari, and someone said, well, the Lotus Exceed is now the new OP. It's better than the LaFerrari, so it's like, really? So I had to try it out, and uh, this let's just say these next two races I'm using the Lotus, and it's low leveled, and it does work. It's really good. Um, so if you're looking to do really good on races with uh, some of the new cars, because maybe the LaFerrari just feels weird to you now or something, use the 458 circuit spec, use this perf spec, um, and yeah, that's basically the only two cars that I've really tried, but, uh, the Exceed is really good. It's really good on this ice here, um, and it's really good on asphalt as well. It's got good acceleration. It probably accelerates about the same as the Lamborghinis. Um, it's got really good steer circle. It's got a little bit of wheel spin, but it's manageable wheel spin. It's the kind of wheel spin that actually helps you because it makes you drift a little bit. I know it doesn't really make much sense, but the amount of wheel spin it has makes you drift a little bit, uh, but it's the good kind of drift that actually cuts time around corners, so it's actually pretty good. Um, its top speed is actually, you know, decent. Uh, it's low leveled right now, but it's still got a decent top speed for a perfect spec car. Um, so in general, it's just a very, very strong car. Uh, if you have the money for the Exige, and it is pretty cheap compared to the other uh, cars that are uh, the new cars, um, definitely pick it up if you haven't yet. It's very, very strong. Uh, in this race, you get to see it on damn fast. Now, I hate this track, uh, but I was really looking forward to this race because um, everyone else was picking circuit, and someone picked this race, and I noticed that on to the left me of me there, we have the new... RUF, and then up ahead we have the new uh, SLR McLaren, and I was really excited for this race for a couple reasons. One, to see how this car handles at top speeds, because I haven't really tried that out yet, and two, I wanted to see how well those new cars did in this race. Now, that guy that used the RUF, uh, you notice I bumped, bashed into him a little bit there. Uh, honestly, that was his fault. I don't feel too bad about that, because he spun out and drove in front of me. Uh, I mean, there's, I'm not going to break for him, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, you know what, you messed up here, let me give you my place, but, you know, it, it sucks that I ran into him and messed him up even more, but, I mean, don't mess up in the first place. Uh, the SLR McLaren, on the other hand, he's actually doing quite well, he's ahead of me right now, uh, and that actually really excites me, because the SLR McLaren is one of my favorite cars, and I actually did buy it recently. So you will definitely see it in a newer video here, but uh, the Exceed, as you can see, it's doing very well on the on these really twisty bends. Um, I didn't really break enough for that one there, so that was my kind of my fault. But um, it's doing pretty good on these bends, and uh, you'll see it in the high speed part. It does really well. And again, you're noticing I'm doing kind of bad in the beginning here. Um, I'm still getting used to it. I really don't like collision and traffic on. I can handle collision being on if people aren't assholes and run into you on purpose. If, if you know, it's very rare that you actually get into a race where you're with a bunch of really cool guys that, you know, one of them has collision on, so what? You'd go ahead, you do the race, and if someone is, you know, trying to pass you and is going faster than you, coming up next to you, uh, they don't run into you. They move out of your way. They say, okay, you know what, you're, you're ahead of me, that's fine, I'll slipstream off you, and, you know, I'll pass you later. But then you get the people who, you know, they see you coming up next to, me, next to you, and uh, they're like, 
oh no, I can't have this guy pass me now, and then they just steer in front of you and run you off the road. And it's just very annoying. It makes the races a lot less technical, a lot less skillful. Um, and I really dislike it. And having traffic on is even worse because then people will, you know, run into cars. They'll be bad, basically. People are just, they'll be a really awful racer. And they'll run into a car and it'll spin out and then it'll run into you and you get punished for them being bad. Um, and it's just, it, it's really annoying. But as you see here, my car is topping out at 237 miles an hour, which <laughs> that's not that great, but it's enough to pass up these guys at least. Um, uh, but yeah, it handles really well at high speeds. It feels very planted. It's not s sliding all over the place. On these bends, it's staying in the apex. It's staying very, very uh, on the road, which is very good for a perfect car. Uh, as you can see here at that high speeds, I still run around that corner very well. So did the SLR. Uh, after this race, I was very excited to see how the SLR did. And right there, that was a very good uh path that I took there, right in between those two. I didn't expect a guy in the LaFerrari to mess up there, but he did. Um, so I end up taking first place here, and I do kind of badly on this corner, and panic nitrous right there, because I was like, oh shit, they're going to pass me. You know someone's panicking if after they hit a wall, as soon as they get going you know, at least somewhat straight again, they hit the nitrous. <laughs> and I did that there, but you know, whatever. So in close... Lotus, very, very good. Uh, probably top five car, maybe even the best car. I can't really say because I don't have it upgraded yet, though. But it's very strong. 458, potentially the new best circuit car. Again, I can't really say for sure because I don't have it upgraded. But uh, both of these cars are very, very good and are definitely going to be on the top of the tier list. Um, so if you don't have them, get them, try them out, upgrade them see how it works for you. The SLR did very good in this race, um, so that excites me a lot because, like I said, it's one of my favorite cars. That's why I was very excited that the F1 was very good because that's probably my favorite supercar. Uh, no, nah, the Zonda. I like the Zonda more, the Pagani Zonda, which we are getting in a DLC later, which also makes me very happy. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.